It's very important to share research and our laboratory expertise with the media and the public. I think the public wants to know why we do what we do, they want to know how we do it, they want to know that their dollars are not being wasted in some ivory tower. One of the benefits to me as a researcher for um, participating in media interviews is that um, I have a chance not only to explain myself, but to, uh, to think about what I do and put it in the simplest possible terms. By speaking about my work over and over again, I began to more clearly understand what is it that people really gravitate to in this project and what is it that people are excited about. Je crois que c'est vraiment important de, de partager nos recherches et nos connaissances parce qu'à la base, en fait, c'est le public qui paye pour nos recherches. Ils investissent dans nous. Alors, c'est vraiment euh, important qu'on partage ce qu'on a trouvé à travers nos recherches, euh, nos données, nos, nos résultats, euh, pour peut-être pouvoir informer ou, ou même changer la, la vie des gens. Most journalists are not going to be confrontational. They actually want to present you and your ideas in a positive light because it frames the larger story that they're working on. Your job is simply to show up and, and, and talk about what you know. And, and, and so long as you know what your role is, you can count on the other people to know what their roles are. When you engage with the media, engage about the successes of your research and what it means to real people. Je dirais aux collègues de, de prendre un peu la perspective des, des médias et de penser vraiment à, à quoi ils ont besoin. C'est de euh, leur communiquer des, des informations qui pourraient intéresser le, le public. Alors parfois, on a des données qui, qui sont intéressantes d'autres chercheurs, d'autres scientifiques. I was surprised by people thinking a step ahead and saying, well, how can this be used to benefit society in other ways? And so, for example, it was brought up several times that this technology could be used to help children with autism. I guess I had never really considered that my research could go in that direction, but after a while I started thinking, that's an exciting thing for an artist to do. To a new PhD student, I would say this. Engage. Don't be afraid of it. Learn how to tell your story to your grandmother. And if you can do that, you can tell it to the media. The media is very much there treating you as an expert. They want to get the point you're trying to make across. I think that it's good to have this trail when people Google you. You know, it's not just your Facebook that pops up. Look at all of these uh, newspapers and radio shows you've done and people are talking about you. Concordia is a young university. It's filled with a lot of young scholars who are doing bright, new and novel things. Part of this Concordia atmosphere that we have here, this exciting atmosphere in this wonderful world-class city, is to disseminate our research, not just simply in academic venues, books and articles and so on, but also on the public level. And I think that's very important for Concordia faculty to realize and participate in.